Hey guys, welcome back to Frenemies. I'm Ian. We're back with more Supergirl. So apparently, last ep oh, yeah. <laughs> don't know what that was. Apparently, last episode was a uh, part one. Did not know that um, until right afterwards. Um, so I don't, I don't really know. What, what, how did it end last episode? I'm trying to remember. Um, Lex had right. I'm trying to think. Lex had the cube right I forgot what it's called and he gave it to to Lena wins here I'm trying to think like what hold on let me see right here <laughs> it tells me uh, Brainy we see Brainy kind of dealing with the uh, stress of having to work with Lex and having and keeping them uh, out of the loop of that the team and he's he's well, obviously he didn't want to break up with Nia, but like he's feeling it. He doesn't. He he doesn't. He wants to go back to her like right now and. <sighs> I don't know. I I still don't know why they. I know his other version told him that he needs to keep people away from this, but and you know they can't know the truth. They'll probably get because they'll probably get mixed in. But I don't know. Um, I feel like he didn't have to break up with her, but. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so Wynn's here. His name has effectively been ruined as Wynn, so he's got to be somebody else. They call him Marty. <laughs> and he's got the freaking Superman glasses going on for his identity, and somehow it's working. It's frustrating. <laughs> Let's see, what else? What else, what else, what else? We got Watchtower. or No, the Tower, not Watchtower, because they call it differently. Call it, we got the Tower, and the name dropped finally in the Hall of Justice. Car and Will are possibly going to be a thing. I don't know how I feel about that, but there it is. I'm like super blanking right now, so I don't... Like, I, I remember that stuff. I just can't remember if there was anything else really big. Um, I know Lex is, Lex is wanting Lena's help uh, with her information on Leviathan. She went to Andrea to get, to, you know, let her know if there's anything, if they contact her to let her know. Um, and Lex saw the image, an image of, uh, Gam Gamine? Gamine? Uh, so he knows she's part of Leviathan now. So I, don't know, I guess we'll see where that goes. Computer lad. <laughs> no! <laughs> what? Lightning last controls electricity. Lightning lad! One day my brother in law decides to call me Computer lad and it kind of stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like it. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. You invited William. It, it, it's nothing. After game night, I couldn't not. Hi. 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 Hurry, boy, it's waiting there for you. Who's gonna take the time to drive me away from you? There's a thing that a hundred men or more never do. I'll miss the rays down in Africa. I'll miss the rays. <laughs> he does i will see alex i'm proud of you for staying to fight the good fight but i do worry well you don't have to because i can handle myself and plus granny's got my back mr luther now is everything quiet there of course no disruptions or technical difficulties no good <laughs> Dang it. Would you, uh, would you like to go out some time? Just us. Like a date? A date. What do you think? Hey, super Cara. Mm -hmm. She is super. Sure. Um, How is that coming through our comms? I used to listen to this song in the shop when I was a kid. It was my dad. Okay, wait, so you're saying... I think Todd Man's back. Yeah, he is. Oh, they don't get a new intro? God dang it. Fine. Agent Dox, I was wondering when you'd call. You knew Toy Man would upload himself into the DEO. I correctly theorized it, yes. And you didn't tell me. It was need to know. And now that you do know, you need to know, I want you to get me Toy Man's code. 
what Toy Man used to put himself into the computer. Access Toy Man's code and copy it. Once you are done, you'll have gotten us one step closer to saving the world. Shouldn't be surprised. Lex did help manipulate Toy Man's digital reemergence, but I had nothing to do with it. Helping Lex is what I have to do for the sake of the future. You know that. Still, I promise, I have everything under control. Okay. I am trusting you. The night the police finally came and took him away, I went to look for the notebook and it was gone. It turns out that he had taken it and left in its place a little toy monkey. I'm sorry. Nah, it's, it's fine. Let's talk about something else. Hey, you and William. What's with that? What? I totally messed him asking you out. Well, no, 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 I messed no, no, that was not. Well, he was, there's, there's nothing. What? There. I refuse to start any relationship on a lie. William asked you out on one date, Carl. You don't even know if it's gonna go anywhere, but you won't find out unless you try. And then if it does, you know, you just take it one step at a time. <laughs> Supergirl, when? Apparently three of Toy Man's sentries are headed for you as we speak. What kind of sentries? It seems that before Toy Man's AI got onto our net, it got into some flying monkeys. Supergirl, go this way. You'll be safe. No, no, you are not fooling us. Not now, not ever. You have amazing technology. At least, you almost do. We have allies and assets. Government stooges and supporters in every corner of the globe. That's the kind of reach you can't get with just a snap of your fingers. So you have the potential, but we can help you realize it. Why be at each other's throats when we could be joined at the hip? Who knows? We might like it. I can be an excellent friend when I want to be, and I do want to be your friend for a long time. Trusted you with that spyware. And then you hacked into my tablet and you overwrote my commands and you deleted it. Just tell me I'm wrong. You're not wrong. I did it to protect you, Alex. Come on. Sooner or later, Lex would have found your spyware. He would have traced it back to your account. I knew the risk. It isn't a risk, it's a fact. Look, if this Toy Man fiasco has taught us anything, it's that technology, no matter how sophisticated, can be used against us. It's just a matter of when. I should have told you first. But I refuse to let Lex come after you. I have to go inside it. What? I have this from the Legion ship. It, it allows me to enter the digital space temporarily. But if you go inside it, can't you run into... My dad. Or Toy Man. Or both. Yeah. The future is wild, what man. What is that? Oh, the Lex suit. Inside of them. Get out now. Duck, duck. Oh. Okay, she's good. Oh, why are there so many? Lex, you. Well, there's only two, but maybe there's more. I don't know. What? <laughs> you won't be able to hold him back alone. You need me. I do not need you. Dad! Hear it. Open the door with the palm lock, son. Ah! God dang it! Not 
today. Dad saved me. He was telling the truth. Because I'm quitting the DEO. Alex, really? Alex is everywhere in there. And I can't keep showing up and smiling at him. And even if it's just pretend. Plus, now you can come and work with me. <laughs> National City may need the tower, but the tower needs leaders. Could be fun. Fun and logical. It's not computer lad anymore. <gasps> What All is right. it? From now on, it's Toy Man. Huh. I should have thought seriously? that. Seriously? Yeah. You guys, when I told you that I was okay being called Computer Lad, are you kidding me? No, I hated that. Computer Lad. Oh, no. no. <laughs> what? <laughs> but Toy Man, he told me that I was better than him. And he was right. So I'm going to reclaim that name and make it stand for good. Hey, it's, it's like the doctor said. The future is whatever you want. <laughs> Show me a good one. I can stop, bro. Like it. <laughs> Man. <sighs> I miss him already. My grandmother swears a good puzzle is better than antibiotics. <sighs> so, you were saying. Ooh. Yeah, uh... You're gonna have to cut that. I was thinking, um... Well... I'm sorry, William, I just don't feel that way about you. Ah. Uh. <laughs> now I feel bad. So, it would seem, congratulations are in order. Congratulations. Director. To you. Like your sister. DEO Director Docs. It's probably Jean with the pizza, which is great. Hi. Some say there's no way of knowing. For you. But I say first, ask Mr. Mixon Spindelik. What? What? You don't. That's not Mr. Spindelik. <laughs> it's very. I mean. He is a fifth dimensional being, right? That's what they said they were. So I mean, I guess you could change the way he looks. I I don't. I guess they didn't want to get the same actor. That is not look. That, that's definitely not the Mickey Spitalik I remember. <laughs> okay, he's back. Haven't seen him since season one. All right? No, no, no. Season two. I'm sorry. It was season two. Still a while ago. And that was was that. During or before her and uh, or Kara and um, Monel were dating, it was during, right? I don't remember, but yeah, definitely, definitely different. He seems more quirky, which is great. It kind of fits a little more Mixie Spitalik than uh, the other one. The other one was a little more, a little more charming. My because Mixie's probably is more like an annoyance. I mean, not that this one, not that the last one wasn't annoying, but like ye anyway. All right, okay. Well, feck. You know, I wasn't on board necessarily with Kara and William getting together. Um, still not real. I mean, okay, he was kind of ending me over with the singing because man, he can sing really good. He's got a great voice. Um. Simple-minded me. I know. <laughs> what can I say? You can win me over with a good set of pipes. Uh, and as long as you're not a douchebag. Um, but she's proven that he's not, actually. So I felt really bad whenever he was... Because, I mean, he seemed really caring. You know, he was felt terrible... Or he felt bad about her grandma being, you know, under the weather. So he gives her, you know, his grandma or mom or whatever. I forgot what he said already. <laughs> and then right after, Kara's like, ah... 
Sorry, I don't, I don't see you that way. So, in his mind, <laughs> I know me, if I'm like trying to do, if I gave someone a puzzle after thinking, you know, there's something there, and I give them the puzzle and they're just like, mm, everything, all of a sudden things just kind of turn on dime. It's just like, so puzzles doom relationships. I mean, it's not like, not, not, not that it was a relationship, but it's just like, it kind of, just from his perspective, Puzzle did it didn't do him very well, um, but unfortunately, it's his car is like well, this is already starting off with a lie, so I'm not feeling confident about this already, uh, which sucks because like it was right after uh, Win was just kind of like giving her advice about you know it was just one date, um, don't it doesn't have to be a relationship right now, just if you know see how it how this feels at the date and take this one step at a time. Eventually get to the, getting to the point where maybe you tell him you're Supergirl. I mean, Clark and Lois, their thing. I know in the comics is supposed to be Brainy and, and Kara, or at least I, don't, I think it's the comics. I know at least in like I, know, I remember the Justice League. I think it was Unlimited. They got together. I don't know about how it was in the comics necessarily, but they're not. I mean, they don't. It's a it's a different it's a different thing. In this show, they're not even really considered a, a couple. Um... But yeah, I do. I, I just felt, I can feel bad for for uh, for William. Um, I guess I don't know. I don't know where it's gonna go. But we got Mixie Spillick, who's he's back. Um, I guess going to show her what it could be like with if she had done things differently with Lena, or maybe change Lena, or I don't. I don't really know because I mean they can do just about anything. I'm, I, I I think pretty sure there might be some limit, but. I know they they have they can manipulate like space and time and all and reality and crap so, but now Lex has the AI code which is fantastic. God, I should have known that this was also part of his plan. Like Lex has just been this as much as I I mean okay I hate Lex so much. <laughs> this rendition doesn't make any difference. <laughs> I hate him. Uh, but I love him at the same time. Like, he's fantastic as a villain. And he is proven to be very... Uh, what's the word I'm blanking? He's proven to be... God dang it. I can't... I, I hate this so much. My brain forgets the simplest of words that I should know, that I know, but then I forget them for some freaking reason. I don't, can't remember the word, but he's basically proven himself to be a worthy foe. <laughs> um... He's, his intelligence is, is baffling, and he's, he, like, the schemes this guy got, man. I don't know what I was just saying there. That was some really weird English. But he's just, like, since season four, like, when he when he sh shows up in the middle of the season, he just, he takes, he, he takes, he steals the show. And, like, this from the beginning, even before he showed up, we see, like, how this weaves into his plan. It's ridiculous. And then... The whole thing with Crisis, at the end of it, he manipulated it to where, like, New Earth to fit more his needs in a way. You know, now he's seen as a hero. He's, the whole thing with him being arrested and, and him looking as, seeing as a, as a villain has completely been erased. Whole world sees him as a good guy. I mean, I don't know, if, I'm pretty sure they brought Clark's memories back, because I know Jean, um, he... Brought everybody's memories back that were dealing with the crisis and that also that were helping fight uh, uh, and the anti -monitor, monitor. So I'm pretty sure he brought Clark's memories back. But yeah, he did because I mean, uh, the whole thing when Lois brought up that they had two sons, he's like, what? Um, so that's got to be that's got to be the worst thing he's got because you know they always have overlapping memories. So Clark, you know, he's he, he knows his previous life where he hates Lex. They were bitter rivals, enemies, and everything. Not rivals. They were, they were uh, nemesis and crap. But he's got this Earth memories, whereas you know Lex is a good guy, and they're probably you know seen together a lot or something. I don't know. So that's gotta suck. But anyway, uh, way, way off track. Sorry. Basically, what I'm trying to say is he's too good, and I hate it. <laughs> he planned you know the whole thing from get using this the other the doppelganger win to bring this win back from the future and you know, get his attention. Um, so that he could steal the cube for Lena, but also, you know, this, he knew this, he, he theorized this Wynn would get the code that our Wynn's dad had altered, because apparently Wynn created, he started it, um, you know, making an AI, 
so that he could put himself in the system there so that Brainy could copy the code and give it to Lex so that he can use it against <sighs> Leviathan. I'm not sure though if it's to be against Leviathan or to work with Leviathan actually. Like he says he he mentioned about working with them for a very long time. Now he could be the you know, obviously that just could be Lex saying whatever, but um like he could be wanting to work with them but then, you know, backstab them since they're close you know, keep your enemies close kind of thing. Um but I'm I'm also wondering if he was like letting her know about the fact that um he knows who she is, what she's a part of, when he said that, because the way he said, uh, uh, want, uh, wanted to work with her for a very long time, I don't know, I don't know where I put it, oh, here, uh, be friends with for a very long time, um, so I don't know if that, if that was him letting her know, and I don't know if that face she made was, like, her understanding what he was saying, to the point, you know, that he knows, and I don't know if, like, I, I, just kind of the way it kind of cuts to that, or you know, nearing the end where it cuts to them saying um, that that they have the Luthers where they want them. It, it the way they sh they did that, it made it seem like that they actually do. But with Lex, I can't tell. I don't know if he's. I I, I feel like he knows too much. Like he's he's too smart. I don't know. And these are. He's he's outsmarted um, otherworldly beings before, and these I mean granted these are centuries old and they have their they've had years of wisdom and whatever intelligence crap and learning. But I don't, I don't with Lex you just can't tell. I mean he has an annoyingly intelligent mind. So I, I can't tell if he's one up them right now. Cause he before like he knew nothing about them at the start after Crisis. He's just he's just recently found out about their existence. But it still wouldn't surprise me that he was getting a, a one up on them already. He's gathered so much information, so much more. Well, part of a lot a large part of things to Brainy. Um, a lot of for lack of a better term, weapons against them. It's really bad for Brainy. Like he's, he knows how terrible Lex is, and he hates working with him. But unfortunately, the other version of him showed him what happened when she tried to fight him, and that it's better for it. It's better for the world for him to work with Lex. Apparently, I mean, there are different Earths though, so maybe there could have been a different outcome. But I don't know. It, and Alex found out about the the you know that she was uh, that he deleted her virus basically not basically he deleted her virus and I thought for a second that maybe he was gonna be found out or that he would let her in but I mean he what he said what he told her wasn't a lie though it was just not the whole truth you know he was he deleted it so that Lex wouldn't come after her he refuses to let him you know take her out of the equation permanently. Um, he is trying to protect her, which is, considering how close he is to Lex, um, to Lex right now, it's the best thing he could have done, that and still kind of help us. So, I mean, Brady's juggling a lot right now, and i got to give him like, huge props accomplishing what he has while still keeping his friends safe with that. And also not letting them in on what he's doing with Lex. The only one that who knows is Wynn, who's still backing him up, still trusting him. <clears throat> I mean, I kind of hate that. It sucks that Wynn's leaving. One, because I, I missed, I've missed Wynn, and I wanted to stay longer. But two, it's the only other person that Brainy can talk to about this stuff, because he knows about, you know, he knows about Lex and crap. So... <clears throat> so, I mean, he could probably contact him in the future because I mean, he still has a Legion ring. Maybe he could find a way to contact him. Computer lab. <laughs> I love that it was. I I I do like that he. I I feel like I've heard about Toy Man being. Well, yeah, there's a Toy Man. In the I'm pretty sure there's a Toy Man that's good, but he's like 
a different he's a different person and he's younger. He's like like a, like a kid. But I do like that Wynn's taking the mantle of Toy Man and he's um, gonna make it his own. Gonna actually make it stand for something good. Um, I don't know how far like I know it's like three thousand years or thousand or something like that. It's like thirty cent thirty century was something like that. I don't know if using the Toy Man moniker like if they'll need to grow accustomed to that or if it's if, if it's too far in the past for them to really remember but I still I like the fact that he's taking that name and I do like it a little bit more I don't know I like computer that I mean I know it's kind of goofy of an, for a moniker but I I don't know it has it has something to it you know <laughs> um it has a kind of um charm I feel but Toy Man, I still, I just, I do like what, it, like the meaning behind taking that name though. Um, but Alex has quit the DEO, which honestly, I'm, I'm kind of, I prefer, or not prefer, I, I'm kind of glad just because she's out of, well, I wouldn't say out of danger from Lex, but she's not directly, she can't, she's not under his thumb at least, she's not working for him anymore, so there's that. Um. And she will be working with Jean, which is great. I mean, more Alex and Jean is always great. Um, the more Jean is great, so the more Lex we, Alex get, chances are the more Jean will get. So it's also another plus. Um, but that also brings Brainy now in charge of the D. Well, not in charge, but he's he's now um, board crap. I just blanked what they're called. Um, the, the, the director. I don't know what happened there. I was trying to say like captain and everything, but yeah, director. So basically, like his well, not his sister, but the female version of Brainy, but Jesse's sister, who was the director of her DEO. Um, so it's it's kind of cool. Uh, I just, I mean, he has now he has more leeway in terms of um uh helping Lex and not not leeway, but more reach. Less he doesn't have to be that as um. Pulled in now, or not pulled in? Oh, God damn, what's the word? He doesn't have to hide as much. I, I, I guess is the word I'm trying to go. Um, because you know Alex isn't gonna be there. Uh, he's not gonna be in danger of her finding him out because she's not even working at the DEO anymore. Not just not just a non-director, but she's not working there at all. So he, you know, I think she has her own uh, uh, office. I don't know because uh, you don't really see her in it. like she's always out in the in the main room with the rest of them so I mean I don't know um but Lex might give him a separate room just because now he's working for him directly and wants to give him some privacy so that maybe they can see what he's doing or something but anyway and apparently Lena sabotaged uh she sabotaged Andrea's tech so that she would have to reach out to to, to Lena. And then Lena could have access to the Q wave, to the to new Q waves of uh, the lenses. And I think she's already gotten the whole Incept technology back now because we saw the lens turn green. So I'm thinking that's she has it back now, which sucks. But God, Jesus Christ, she sabotaged her fr her friends. Freaking, she's not. She's just using her. God, this poor this poor woman. You know, like the Earth before she was being used, and then she. Did, no, someone she loved was killed, and that she tried so hard to get him out and, and free him. And she's back now. She's in, you know working. I think she basically had quit uh, Leviathan in a way. She attacked them last, and now freaking uh, she's back working with them. Gemini, I think it's Gemini. Gemini, I think it's Gemini. Well, they call her Gemma. Like that's like her uh, fake. Her what's the it's her identity, her secret identity, if you will. Um, alias, that's the word I was trying to think of, her alias um, for the public. Uh, Je Gemma Cooper. I'm, so, But I've heard like, her actual name is like, pronounced either Gemini or, I don't know, I feel like it's Gemini. But what's his face? Ramakan, I think is what his name was, called her like Gemini or something like that. Anyway, she's, Andre Andrea's back with them and now works more under more directly now uh, under uh you know Gemma I'm gonna call it that for now because it's just easier um so I guess the whole Ramakon thing didn't happen like he I guess she's been in charge because apparently well no that could have been 
I was going to say, maybe she's been in charge now instead of Ramakan was. Um, because of the fact that she's got her thumb on Andrea, but maybe not. Gemma could have taken Andrea under her wing while Ramakan was still in charge. And the whole incident with... No, because that's different, because she didn't have... He didn't have the shadow thing. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm assuming, I guess Ramakan wasn't in charge uh, on Earth Prime ever at, at ever at, at ever at any at any point. Jesus, at any point, which means that that he was in an, either the incidents didn't happen that he caused or the or the or uh, he just wasn't the cause of the incidences. I think it was Papa he mentioned was one of them. I don't remember for sure for certain, but um. That's a lot that's freaking changed, Jesus. This whole Earth Prime thing is affected a lot. Also, that was really cool, the like the tech they have that uh, Wynn has, he was able to freaking go into the digital space with that thing. It kind of looked, what seemed like the the neural inhibitor, I think is what the, the, the thing was called in the in, um, Flash, they used to kind of link minds or to suppress uh, Cecile's powers, you know, they have different, they had different uses for it. Um, well, obviously more sleek, look more sleek than that, and you know more flexible, just kind of like kind of just stuck to the face like taper kind of or whatever. But I thought that just kind of that idea was really cool. You know, basically you can kind of put your project your mind into the digit into the cyberspace. Basically, it was also interesting the fact that um, the other win, he got the existing code and rewrote it, putting himself in it, but kind of putting it over. Uh, Wynn's dad's original code so he was still in there and he was able to help Wynn hold off evil Wynn so that he could that, that our Wynn could delete um, evil Wynn completely so he's 100% con now which would delete but it deleted his dad as well but he kind of had changed in a way so I, I, I like it in the sense that it gave Wynn kind of a, a closure in a way a kind of it's because I mean it, it kind of makes sense like you seeing seeing what his son was doing like everything that his son ha like has been able to do um, to help others kind of changed him in a way like it's I don't know it's 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 code so it's kind of in a sense well like that in a way altered his code like seeing the basically kind of what as he said the best of him and it kind of uh, not, I don't know it's it's hard to freaking word what I'm trying to say for some reason but I don't know I kind of like that he is he didn't necessarily change but he's more just proud of what Wynn has done and he wanted to help him so he would actually sacrificed himself to hold off the other Wynn so that they would actually just both get deleted um, and then, you know, that Wynn's going to be using the Toyman moniker uh, in the future. Uh, I'm kind of sad that there's no new Supergirl intro. <laughs> um, because we saw Flash and, and, and Legends, they have a new one, and I kind of figured Batwoman wouldn't, I mean, there was still a chance they would have, but Batman, Batwoman just started, so their intro is new in itself. But Supergirl, I mean, I figured that they would have, they could because, I mean, the intro, well, Thing is with, with with Supergirl, their intro changes like every season. The other ones did not. Um, I don't think Legends has. I don't remember. I'm trying to think. No, it has, but like not the intro. But I meant like, look at the intro. It's it's, it's slightly different usually. Um, Flash has always been pretty much the same. I think, right? No. Either way. I was hoping that there was going to be like a new intro for this, but there wasn't, um, which is fine. I just, <sighs> whatever. <laughs> uh, but apparently it seems uh, not only do we have Kryptonian in this new Earth, Kryptonian safeguards to keep uh, evil Kryptonians or rogue Kryptonians from coming to the Earth, I'm assuming is what it, what it was, what he was saying. Um, he also hasn't, in this new Earth, when he you know, planned it out, he didn't allow for basically the uh, anti the anti kryptonian tech to be created so now car doesn't have an anti kryptonian suit which sucks i feel like they need a they, they can make do they not have one right i can't remember now no they, they haven't shown it since anyway so i feel like with jean's help maybe john alex i don't know well yeah maybe alex brainy they could make an, a, another suit another anti kryptonian 
or anti-kryptonite suit is what I meant to say earlier. An anti-kryptonite suit, so that, you know, in case Kara needs it. I don't know. I just I feel like I it, I hate I hate that like it's so smart. <laughs> he got rid of that suit, which I feel like in this situation now where he's supposed to be a, where he's pretending to be a good guy, he should maybe not get rid of that in case Kara needs to help him or I don't know, but whatever. I feel like they can make another one. At least now they know that they, that they no longer exist. And the tech that they're working on, um, at Obsidian with the lenses, the virtual reality thing, apparently working on the eating virtual food will get, will still provide nutrients, which is insane. Um, and the, the freaking feedback that the, the sabotage that Lena did kind of gave like a what, I forgot what she said, um, but like Kelly said something about about something about toxicity. Like it, it, it was some kind of feedback that shouldn't have happened. Um, but it's it's just insane that the freaking in the virtual world they're making it they they're developing something so that you can actually sustain yourself in the virtual world. Like without eating real food, you can still get the nutrients, which is ridiculous. Like that is gonna. So that was one of my arguments. It's like, well, I mean, that's great, but I mean, how are you gonna live? He's able to come out to eat, but no, that's probably not even the case. They're taking care of that as well. So like, that's gonna make it very um, tempting for people not to ever come out. Like, well, they're, they're, why would they want to come out when life could be whatever you want or however you know? It just, it'd be better than how your life would be at, uh, currently. So a, a, like a permanent escape, pretty much. But I know, I know, was their point. But it's just crap. <laughs> yeah, I think oh my god, man, that was a great, great episode again for Supergirl. I hate wins. I hate that wins gone again. But maybe we I mean there's still there's an opportunity for him to come back. Um, he could just come back from the future whenever. Um, we have Win, who's now Win. She is Brainy. Who's gonna be the now the director of the DEO? So again, he's gonna have more uh, authority and reach and and free freedom to help Lex however he however he freaking wants him to. Um, Alex is now free of Lex, kind of. Uh, working with gonna be working with Jean, which is great. And now we have Mixie Spitalik showing up, so he's obviously gonna be something next episode. That's probably gonna be at the forefront for the most part. So looking forward to that. But for now, that's it for this week's episode of Supergirl, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to stick around for our next week's episode, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, and if you want to support us, go ahead and check out our Patreon where you get access to any um, early access for our catch series that we have. Link for that will be in the description down below. Again, guys, thanks for watching, and hope to see you guys next week.